bring us a figgy pudding. Oh, bring us a figgy pudding. Oh, bring us a figgy pudding and a cup of good cheer. At one time, you used to get all three characters who were dancing and moving. Arthritis, I think, got through them. Cold weather. Only one guy's left and he only sings. Merry Christmas, everybody! My name is Jerry Dolinchuk and you're looking at Maisie's Magical Christmas House. The problem is there's so many cords here, you gotta follow this thing right to a T. This is really tough. Got her. That one's off now. Let me check. It's a full-time maintenance job, believe me. It never ends. But we got her. Everything's working again now. But that's what you have to almost go through steady. We used to know there's over 100,000, now we don't even know anymore. There's, there's absolutely no way, no way to count them. It takes approximately 240 hours to set it up. I do the largest decorated home in Edmonton. It's probably the most unique home, believe it or not, in the world. This house we built 38 years ago. And it sits on two lots. The fence on the second lot uh, was dark. I decided to hang a set of lights on, uh, on the exterior for my mom because I was taking care of my mom. She passed away four years ago. She loved it. You know, I used to take her in a wheelchair out, sit by the window. She just loved staring and looking at the windows and all this stuff, eh? And it just got carried away and people loved it and it just never stopped up to today and every year it gets bigger and bigger. Christmas Story Train, that one there. Yeah, there she comes. What I do is I make the inside, where you look from the outside, all the window decorations. Usually we change 75, 80%. This year we left a lot of the inside and we did a massive change on the outside. The first couple years were a complete disaster. It took a lot of work to figure it out. You learn all the little nicks and acts on the trains. Today they work pretty well. With some maintenance, they work pretty good now. There's a big china cabinet behind here. That's our dining room. Last year was the first year, and they'll stay like this 12 months of the year. We have Santa sitting with the goofy reindeers and a bunch of elves decorating trees. We have another Santa with a sleigh. We have carolers. There's a lot of imagination in here. We don't want people to go with their kids in there. I think I'm trying to, to see how, how shocking I can get it is, is the real idea behind it. Like how big can it grow? You know, like it's so big now you wonder how can you do better next year? But I always seem to do it better and you have to. Otherwise it's like going to the same show and seeing the same movie over and over again. When you go to school and you see the other kids when they have so much and you have nothing and you always kind of wish you had had what they had. And you know, when you get older, you kind of do the things you wanted to do when you were a kid. And what's nice here is really I'm playing with all my toys and nobody thinks I'm crazy at my age. <laughs> 